What's going on guys? It's the Beastly Gamer here and welcome to the channel. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about Black Friday, something that a lot of people are excited about. Uh, it's an opportunity to get out there and get your hands on some of the electronics that maybe you couldn't afford throughout the year. You see a great deal on something, boom, pick it up. It's yours for usually a third of the price. It's a great time for people who are really into electronics and namely gaming. There's a lot of game consoles and games that will be sold on Black Friday discount this year. And I know a lot of you guys are looking forward to it. I myself might go out and pick up one or two things as well. But I want to talk to you guys specifically about the PlayStation 4 Pro. Uh, there's a lot of people playing this thing, really enjoying it. A lot of people enjoying that new resolution of PS4 games. And some people haven't picked it up and are looking to possibly buy it uh, as a Black Friday deal. Now, personally, I haven't seen any Black Friday deals on it that really raised my eyebrow and made me say, hmm, maybe I should pick it up right now. Other than that, I really haven't seen any necessary reason for me to go out and just pick it up. I haven't seen any games that just blew me away. I haven't seen anything that's really a must-have for Play PlayStation 4 Pro. Now, I am going to get the console. I'll probably get it quarter one 2017. But as of right now, I'm good to just play the PS4 base system that I own now. But I did find an interesting article for the people out there who may be interested in buying a PlayStation 4 Pro for Black Friday. And I will drop a link in the description. PS4 Pro Black Friday deals do exist, but it may be wiser to avoid buying Sony's high-spec PlayStation during the holiday season. While not writing off the console's merits in the future, here's why a little patience might go a long way. Number 1. The deals aren't super to begin with. The PlayStation 4 Pro has only been on the market for a few weeks, which means Sony isn't quite as willing to let mainstream retailers drop its baseline price for Black Friday. There are a few bullish sellers on eBay and the occasional lightning deal on Amazon that shave off a few Hamiltons, but you're not going to find any night and day discounts in 2016. If a deal is truly all you're after, the best savings come from promotions that involve the standard PS4 or Xbox One S. Many of those include free games, and games are why anyone buys a console in the first place. At best, PS4 Pro deals mandate the purchase of a 4K TV, an extra controller, or a low-value gift card. None of those are truly necessary for current-gen hardware, and in the case of 4K TVs, it can get a little pricey. Number 2, and I can speak for this because my older brother had major issues with this for his first 24 hours with his PS4 Pro. The console still has known issues with certain TVs. Every console launches with a few quirks, and the PS4 Pro is no exception. Hours after the product became available, reports claimed the system's advertised 4K and HDR features weren't working on some compatible displays. A few fixes and workarounds have been discovered since, but the compatibility problem hasn't been totally ironed out yet. Some TV makers still need to issue a firmware update to support the PS4 Pro, and that could take time. Larger manufacturers like LG are promising a fix by the end of November, but it's not unreasonable to think smaller companies could take longer to address it. Unless you can find out that your TV absolutely works with the PS4 Pro, it may pay dividends to wait beyond Black Friday. Number 3. Game performance hiccups, and I've seen this as well. If you guys haven't seen the hiccups, please watch Digital Foundry. Even though the higher specs of the PS4 Pro should theoretically correlate to improved visuals and performance across the board for supported titles, that doesn't appear to be the case in the weeks after launch. Digital Foundry popularly reported that several top-tier titles like Skyrim Special Edition, The Last of Us Remastered, Watch Dogs 2, and Deus Ex Mankind Divided actually run a bit worse on the new SKU. Even if the performance differences are small, those especially hooking up the Pro to a 1080p TV shouldn't make the sacrifice to put up with them. Odds are these kinks will be addressed over time, but it may be best to wait just in case the situation doesn't improve. Some 4K owners may not mind the small hit, but everyone else should practice a little restraint. Number 4. The Pro's best games are multi-platform. PS4 Pro's best games include a bevy of AAA hitters like Battlefield 1, Titanfall 2, and Rise of the Tomb Raider that all perform well on the augmented console. But we'd be remiss if we didn't remind everyone that every single one of those experiences can be purchased on other platforms outside of the PlayStation ecosystem. More specifically, there are very capable PC versions of those titles. While not everyone has a gaming PC capable of playing them, we suspect that many of you do. In that case, purchasing the Pro iteration is a bit irrelevant right now. You can get very similar performance and visual boosts on PCs with decent hardware. The implementation may not be as plug and play, but the end results are comparable nonetheless. There isn't much of a unique reason to go Pro at the moment. And number 5. Support will likely get better in 2017, and this is something that I truly hope happens. PS4 Pro support is something of a mixed bag in 2016. 
but we have little doubt that its prospects will improve to some degree in the coming months. As developing Sony exclusives like Horizon Zero Dawn, God of War, Detroit Become Human inch closer to release, the reason to invest in a pro will likely become clearer for some tech enthusiasts. Sure you could save a few bucks with Black Friday or Cyber Monday deals now, but do you need to? Better savings and software are likely coming in 2017. I totally agree with this article. Now I know there are a lot of guys and girls out there who are super anxious to grab the Pro. Now let me just say this caveat. If you don't have a PS4 right now, like my older brother, he didn't have a PS4 uh, vanilla. He didn't have it at all. So he wouldn't got the Pro, which is a great deal. If you're just buying into the PlayStation brand, the PS4 Pro is the way to go. But if you already have a PlayStation 4, and you're having fun on the PS4, and maybe you haven't bought a 4K TV or you just want something with a higher resolution for your 4K TV, maybe consider waiting. I would probably wait till at least 2017. There's a lot of people getting this thing now, and as this article states, there's lots and lots of issues. Uh, you're not gonna really get a, that great of a Black Friday deal right now. The thing has only been out for a couple of weeks. They're still ironing out the issues with the 4K compatible TVs. Like I said, my older brother, his first complete day, it was all black screen. He didn't know what happened. He had to go online. He's not really a tech type of guy. He didn't know what was going on. And he finally figured it out. And I told him I had no idea this was happening. So if you have a 4K TV, it might not even be compatible at the moment. Uh, the fact that some PlayStation 4 games actually perform better when it comes to frame rate than the PlayStation Pro games pre-patched. I think that some of these games are going to be patched out and fixed, but one thing Sony did say is that PlayStation Pro games would not perform any any worse than the base PlayStation 4. So the fact that some of these games are is very, very telling. And a lot of these games that you're buying on the PlayStation 4 Pro are available on Xbox One S. They're available on PS4 and on PC. And that's something to think about. If you want to invest that money into getting a PS4 Pro and you already have a gaming PC, maybe you consider buying you a new graphics card that might actually put you over the bar what the PS4 Pro is capable of. And another good point that was made in this article is that the games that are really, really going to take advantage of this, the new specs of the PlayStation 4 Pro have really yet to be seen. Horizon Zero Dawn, Detroit Become Human, these type of games are really going to push the bar and, and take the PlayStation into a place it's never been before. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Have you found a great Black Friday deal for the PlayStation 4 Pro? I have not yet. I didn't expect to see anything. Maybe I'm not looking or I'm looking in the wrong place. But if you guys see any great deals on the PlayStation 4 Pro, let me know. Also, chime off in the comments. Let me know what your thoughts are on getting the Pro right now. If it's something that you're going to be doing for Black Friday or Christmas, let me know why. And if you already have one, what are your thoughts on the Pro? Is it as good as people say? Are you having issues with it? Are you having compatibility problems? Problems, I'm dying to know in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give a thumbs up, show support for the channel, join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, and visit BeastlyGamer.com if you'd like to contribute to the Beastly Gamer channel. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.